Orlando shooting that happened on Sunday. I talked to my friend, a uh, lifelong friend, since we were four years old, we knew each other, and he told me gay clubs are the one place that gay people feel safe. And up until about 10 years ago, it was the only place gay people could really go and be gay. Um, so, and I never thought of it that way. And so it was like attacking them. But let's get into it. Now, I had said something like this needs to happen to wake up the United States to the slaughter and butchery of <clears throat> Islamist jihadist terror and ISIS slaughtering Christians, just massacring them, whole villages. And I've been screaming about it. 49 people were dead, 53 were wounded, so bad that they were hospitalized. It was the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. Omar Mateen uh, pledged allegiance to ISIS in solidarity with the Boston bombers. He had an assault rifle and a pistol. And he was in there for three hours. That's what the police do. When there's a, uh, a shooter, they wait till he runs out of ammo. And then they go in. They don't rush in. Because the life of a cop is worth more than the life of a citizen. Obama pushed for gun control, emphasized guns, never using the term Islamic terror, Islam, and he called it homegrown terror, which it is definitely not. This is influenced from ISIS and Saudi Arabia which Mateen went to twice within two years um, and was on the FBI's watch list and was also on the terrorist watch list. And he made comments to co-workers that were upsetting about, you know, what he was going to do. Um, and the jihadists want to kill us because women wore short sleeve shirts, uh, they don't cover their heads, um, you name it. You draw a picture, that's haram. Um, but what did Obama do? Refused to mention Islam and said we need more gun control. Now, the cops didn't rush in to save anybody. They waited till the guy was basically out of ammo and walked in and shot him but if any of those people in that club had a weapon on them even a handgun they could have taken that guy down or at least they would have a, have had a fighting chance I was wrong no matter how many innocent people are slaughtered this government will do its damnedest to avoid mentioning jihad, Islam, Islamist terrorists, and the gall to say it's homegrown terror, and the answer is more gun control. Homegrown terror, even though he pledged his allegiance to ISIS, said he was doing it because of Islam, and pledged solidarity with the Boston bombers. He actually called 911 twice and said this. He called before he even fired one shot and it was three hours. Police sat there for three hours while people were getting murdered. Obama, I, I, wicked evil, wicked evil man. And I said, a lot of Americans are going to die to have to wake up, but they're not waking up because the news outlets are all on Obama's side. And Obama loves to see the destruction of uh, Arab culture. And uh, 
Middle Eastern culture and uh, doesn't dare say, I mean, homegrown, like a Timothy McVeigh homegrown terrorism, even though he was getting all his ideas from the internet and from this Robinson character who uh, preached that killing gays was a compassion and radicalized 36 uh, prisoners when he was in prison after a bank robbery. And Omar Mateen knew a, uh, a suicide bomber from Florida that blew himself up for ISIS while fighting um, the legitimate government in Syria. It's sickening. People aren't going to wake up. At least nobody within the Democratic Party is. And the Republicans are weak. Trump is the only one that said anything sane in response to any of this. That's just how it is. 50 people were killed. And it's not Islamic terror. Genocide and ethnic cleansing against the Antiochians. Tens of thousands. And not a word is spoken. We know why he did it. And yet, it's not... It, the president refuses to say jihad, Islamist, Islamic terror... what and he emphasizes gun control he makes it a political issue he pushes for gun control immediately like in the same breath so the people can't defend themselves and we know what the cops do they just wait out a gun battle siege till all the shots have been expended and they go and shoot the guy in the head Don't believe me? Ask Justica. He was the ex-cop. This happens in every single case. They just, they wait it out. That's the policy. Your only chance is to own a weapon. Because the Islamists are coming for you. If anybody's listening to this, they're coming for you. Is that not clear yet? Oh, he just hated gay people. Read what the Quran says about homosexuals and what Islamic law commands to be done to homosexuals. His homophobia is directly and his violence towards them. New Testament commands no violence against homosexuals. The Quran and Sharia law bad news 